Uh, as uh, we know, uh, medication uh, uh, does uh, uh, gr uh, deliver a great deal of benefit for uh, many patients with, uh, with epilepsy. But in a third of them, uh, they uh, remain, as we say, intractable uh, to medication. And uh, in these circumstances, uh, we want to uh, offer some other solution to the condition. Uh, either uh, by uh, simply reducing the level of uh, uh, seizures that are manifesting either by their frequency or their intensity uh, or uh, eliminating them. Um, and uh, that process uh, begins with a good deal of investigation uh, that's non-invasive to begin with. Uh, we uh, look uh, attentively to uh, the EEG uh, material and uh, try to couple what we identify from EEG uh, with the imaging studies, uh, uh, such as uh, with an MRI. Um, oftentimes there are nuclear medicine studies that are um, introduced, uh, such as the SPECT uh, scan or the PET scan. Uh, and we attempt then to uh, bring together all these various uh, studies uh, uh, in order to appreciate whether uh, they all agree with one another. Uh, if they do, uh, then uh, we have uh, a potential uh, focus uh, that uh, can be operated upon. So if the EEG and the MRI and the SPECT or the, sp uh, the PET scan or magnetoencephalography and the WADA study and uh, the neuropsychological assessment, uh, if you have a good number of these agreeing with one another and you have a pretty good indication from the history that the seizure is coming from a particular location, uh, then uh, uh, resection is the normally what is recommended. And of course, uh, this, sort of, uh, uh, this sort of thing is uh, discussed and argued uh, in the context of an uh, epilepsy surgery group or a conference where everything is reviewed and, uh, and uh, ultimately uh, uh, decided upon. There are some situations, and in our experience in about 50% of cases, uh, where the focus uh, is not agreed upon uh, based on all these myriad studies that are performed. And in that situation, we might be somewhat sure that a focus is either in one location or another, but not certainly uh, sure enough to take that patient in the operating room to resect. Uh, in that case, uh, we'll uh, then implant electrodes in those locations that were suspicious and uh, bring that patient back to the epilepsy monitoring unit for a recording. And typically in this situation, uh, in, uh, in the great majority of patients, we're able to identify that focus well enough uh, to then take that patient back to the operating room, remove those electrodes, and remove that focus. Uh, and that offers an opportunity then for that patient to be seizure-free. Um, they remain on their anti-epileptic medications afterwards uh, for a period of time until we're sure of uh, what we have done. Um, and oftentimes this patient may be on medications, uh, uh, on several medications uh, for a period of time and they require some fairly careful monitoring and we begin slowly tapering away those medications over an extended period of time. Um, if we find that the patient uh, continues to be free of seizures, uh, then we have a pretty good indication in the end that we can taper off the rest of the medications and uh, the patient then may be without them entirely. Uh, that's a process that may extend over a year and a half to two years.